so I just want to show the very open geranium <coughs> which is very much favoured out the front here in the heat by solitary bees in fact there's a blood bee there look fabulous just moved along getting the nectar nicely camouflaged with the black at the bottom of the petal so the form is relevant great landing pad and here we've got a smaller solitary bee in there you can just see perfect so actually <coughs> it really does matter the color and the, and the actual form i think that's a I know it's there, the yellow face bee, maybe. No, in the past I would have cut all of this back and I've got, sadly, vine weaving in flower too, shameful. But in amongst it is uh, uh, Sephoria officinalis, the soapwort, which is just now in, going into seed and is full of different larva of moth. But it really was just to show you this has benefited from not being cut back and is obviously full of nectar. And I, again, I don't see a predatory spider in this particular geranium. I think it's dragon heart actually. So, um, you know, you can never really be without geraniums. And it's very hot where I'm stood out the front. Uh, this is just a small area of concrete with beds in it. It's quite old. But um, there you are. Form matters, colour matters. We've also got the lines to show in the, the flight lines in each petal look, which show you, or show, show the pollinators the way in. Yeah. And fly there doing the same thing. Anyway, happy gardening for wildlife.